Hello peasants, I mean students. Uh, today in this episode we'll be discussing breath and the importance to singing. I have a guest with us, Dr. Pert, and she will be doing a great job at describing the anatomy. Hello students, this is Dr. P, and today we will be discussing a fundamental part of singing, how to properly breathe. Well, first of all, everything begins with proper alignment. When all of your bones are properly stacked, your body is in its natural, ideal state, which is what we want for our instrument. Our muscles support our skeletal system. We have hundreds of, of small muscles in our spines and necks, and these muscles, though relatively weak, can endure much more than our counterparts. Our larger muscles, such as the pectoralis major and the rectus abdominis, are stronger. However, they lack the incredible endurance of the deep muscles. When we are not properly aligned, the superficial muscles take on the intensified load, which they can handle, but since they can't endure as much, they become fatigued. And when your spine is aligned, there is no strain on surface muscles, allowing your body to function more efficiently. Breathing is a balance of pressure and volume, when inhaling, the ribcage expands and air rushes in through the trachea, filling up the lungs to balance the pressure of air within the lungs and outside the body. When exhaling, the intercostal muscles, or muscles attached to the ribs, relax and the weight of the ribcage lower and forces air out. As the body goes through this process, the diaphragm expands and relaxes and this is the most basic way of observing the process of breathing. There are four kinds of breathing that we observe, and the first one is clavicular, then thoracic, abdominal, and combined breathing. Clavicular breathing, otherwise known as a shallow breath, involves elevation of the shoulder and the clavicle. The thoracic breathing relies on the contraction of the diaphragm in external intercostals, or, other, or otherwise known as rib breathing. Abdominal breathing solely relies on the diaphragm for inhalation, otherwise known as belly breathing. Combined breathing combines best of thoracic and abdominal breathing. This is the best op option for singers as they breathe in through the back first. Combined breathing is the best kind of breathing for singers because you maintain your ribcage expanded and you stop the lung pressure from getting too high, allowing you to take a slower exhale. In passive or regular breathing, the process is inhalation, exhalation, and recovery. In breathing for singing, the process is inhalation, suspension, exhalation, and recovery. As singers, it is important to have a low breath with back expansion to be able to support the con and control the air that flows through the body. The muscles involved in inhalation are the diaphragm, the intercostals, and the abdominal muscles, primarily the transverse abdominis, internal and external oblique abdominis, and the rectus abdominis. The muscles of exhalation are also the intercostal muscles, which lower the ribcage to expel the air, and the diaphragm relaxes during exhalation, and the abdominals slightly tuck in. Some exercises to feel better this type of breath that is most beneficial for singing, I recommend you place your hands, thumbs forward, above your hips, as you bend over, breathe in deep and feel the expansion in your lower back as you breathe. Stand up slowly and as you stand up, take another deep breath in and feel that same expansion. Another exercise would be to take one hand and place it on the anterior part of your body, right underneath your belly button, and your other hand and place it right on top of your hip bone, take in a deep breath and feel the expansion throughout your entire abdomen. This can go from your transversus abdomen down to your pelvic floor muscle. Thank you, Dr. Purr, for that lovely explanation. Students, another exercise that's great is if you just hum on an M through your scales. This will build your breath support. If you also take a straw, blow through the straw and sing through the straw, this will also help you to build your consistent breath, which is what we want from the combined breath. Thank you very much for watching my episode. Until next time.